Welcome to this short video to just show you around the new TAPS website. So we're on the main Primary Science Teaching Trust website, the funders of TAPS, and we're under resources or you can just Google PSTT TAPS and you should be able to get linked to this page with the old URL as well. And so what we've got at the top is a, um, a bit of explanation about what TAPS is, Ta Teacher Assessment in Primary Science project that's been going on for 10 years now. Um, there's also a load of videos you can um, look at on the YouTube playlist um, and email contact there as well. These instructions help you to navigate the filters, which is how this website is organized. So instead of tabs like the old one, um, this one's got filters instead. And so you can have a look at um, all the different pupil work examples, guidance documents and lesson plans. So that's probably the one that you want to be using all the time is to try and work out which kind of thing you want to look at. And you can also choose age ranges, science topics, whether you're thinking about um, the planning or the doing or the reviewing part of working scientifically or inquiry, and also where the things have been developed to match the curriculum exactly. And so what we've got here is uh, a whole host of things. It's all in one bag until you start um, sorting it. So if I just click on guidance, for example, then it brings up all the different types of guidance for all the different countries. And it looks like this kind of thing. So you've got, if I click on the ones I've already downloaded, so early science um, is one of the newer ones which has got information for looking at science with young children and that's applicable to any year. Likewise the cognitive science materials um, booklet there and then we've got country specific things as well, TAP Scotland materials and so on. The Under the examples filter you'll find things like early learning stories for the youngest children and then um, more work samples of pupils recording things in class um, for the older children and that may be things that are related to um, concepts or working scientifically or both. Also on the website is obviously the most important resource which um, is downloaded the most and it's the lesson plans um, guiding you through how to carry out a focused assessment activity so one where you're looking at one particular focus within the context of a whole inquiry and so you've got things like looking at materials hunt there, um, cupcake parachutes and um, pollution survey there. So you've got a whole host of different things. The reason I pulled a few up is that you can see these are made in different countries um, and that doesn't mean that you can't use them you can pick from any of the activities and you can just tweak it and adapt it for your context. On the website too is also um, an overview which will link it to the particular curriculum for your context um, for each of the four nations, the England one I've just done and it's got all the new hyperlinks directly to the lesson plans and we'll be um, doing all the others very, sh very soon. So the website has um, all, the different all the different resources all in this big bag and you just um, filter whichever ones you want to look for. And then at the bottom, we've also got um, links to the Pyramid website with explanations of different assessment strategies and examples from classrooms across the UK, looking at all the different ways you can do assessment um, in the primary science classroom and, and look at lots and lots of different examples from different schools. The place to start is with the focused assessment lesson plans. So that's what you want to be looking at to start with. Pick a plan and try it with your class and there's plenty to choose from.